Um, one of the challenges for oboes is that the opening of the reed is very tiny and we have to blow all of our air through that opening. Um, when you blow through that opening, you want to use fast, focused air. It's not necessarily that you have to blow a ton of air, but the quality of air and how much you use has to be completely focused. Now, it's hard to sort of say, well, what do you mean by fast, focused air? How do I go about getting fast, focused air? The only way I've really sort of learned to, to describe it and to sort of tell whether you're using fast focus air is um, by giving you a couple examples and analogies. If you think about blowing a candle out across the room, so an exercise you could do is go get a candle, light the candle and set it as far away as possible and try to blow and make it flicker or make it go out. If you do that, you have to have fast focused air in order to get your air to that candle. The other thing is if you th want to think about hot soup, if you're going to blow on hot soup, um, a spoon of hot soup, you would not just go because it would all blow back in your face. But if you want to blow um, fast focus air, you want to pinpoint your air and blow it in one place. Now, you're thinking, okay, I got a little bit of an idea, but here's another concrete way in order to know how you're doing it. If you go just get any kind of bubble blowing stuff or make your own, um, with the wand, and when you blow, if you're blowing fast focus air, you should have the same size many bubbles. If they're all the same size and there are a lot of them, you probably have fast focused air. If you get big bubbles, that's also focusing it. But, um, and then challenge yourself and see how far away you can go. You have to find the right angle, sorry, and get it. And then by the fast farther away, that's fast focused air. When you use that same kind of thing into your read, you get a nice buzzing sound. And that is how you're going to try to crow your read and to see if it has a good crow. When you get that good sound, then you are ready to try to do an embouchure and try to put it in your oboe and get a good sound.